In this lesson, we're going to finalize the setup for our render passes and bring them into Photoshop. Okay, in the last scene, I just finished turning off the light. And uh, if we switch to our camera view, we'll give this a render and see how this turned out. Okay, that's pretty close to what we wanted. Um, we're not getting the exact result that I, I wanted in the ice. And to fix that, we can just select the ice. We can add another Mesh Smooth and another Noise Modifier. And the idea is to get this uh, to really break up a little bit. We'll just decrease that scale. See what that gives us. It's getting a little better. Okay, great. So I'm happy with how that turned out. Okay, so over in our scene states, we can hit save and we'll call this ice. Hit save. Okay, so at this point, we're ready to get our render set up. So we can restore back to our default now. And if we render this, you'll see that our condensation, the bottle, and the light, everything will render because we save the state out. And we're going to use this as our beauty pass. Okay, so we'll save that out. And we'll put this in our render output folder. And I'm just going to call this beauty. And I'll save this out as a PNG so I get the alpha channel. Hit OK. Uh, I'm going to revert over to our bottle. Hit Restore. And if we render that, we'll see that we only get the bottle this time and the bottle cap. All right. I'll save this out as bottle dry. Okay, we're going to want to render of our ice as well. All right, we'll save that. Okay, and we're also going to want some final elements to kind of break away off uh, from the default view here. So we'll restore the default and I'm actually going to go into our rendering, render setup and from here I'm just going to go over to render elements and there's a few elements I want to add into here such as mental ray arc and design level specular. I'm also going to want our Z depth and those two should just be fine. We got our render pretty close to where we wanted it. So we'll click on specular and then we'll just come down to the output and we'll name this specular. Okay. And for the Z depth, we actually need to get a number from max. To do this, we just need to figure out the distance from the camera to the back of the bottle. So we'll switch over to our top view. We're going to go over, grab our tape measure tool. And we're going to draw a line from the camera to the back of the bottle. So from here, we'll just bring it to maybe about there. And we can see that it's one, four. So we'll just go and render setup, render elements under Z depth. You can even just take a look over on the modify panel there. We want one, four, one, five, two. All right, and we're also going to save this out. And we'll call this one Z depth. Okay, and when we hit render on this, okay, and when we hit render, it will render out our beauty pass, but once it's finished, it will separate those two elements that we set it for. Okay, so great, here is our Z depth, and over here is our specular pass.
Okay, so we can bring all these into Photoshop and start uh, mixing and matching these together to get our final render. Okay, so now I'm in Photoshop and I have opened up our bottle dry image. And the first thing I want to do is color correct this. So I'm going to do image adjustments, levels. I'm just going to bring our levels in so that we clamp in the white. Hit OK. Now from here, I'm going to place in our condensation. Okay, I'm going to rasterize this. And I'm going to also color correct this. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place in our beauty pass. Alright, and this is also going to need its levels fixed. So image adjustment levels, and I notice that levels is off the screen a little bit. It's just in the corner there, just on the side. Okay, so now we're getting the proper condensation that we want around the label and down around the bottle, but we're getting this yucky stuff down here. So to get rid of that, we can just simply erase it. And what's going to happen is the render from underneath is going to start showing through. So we just got to be a little careful we don't hit the condensation that we do like to keep. So we'll just erase this stuff out. Okay. Scroll up, and I believe there was some up here. Let's erase them out. Okay, do that. Okay, great. Alright, so we also want to go ahead and bring back the ice. So we can just erase away the outside. And I think what I want to do is get a little bit of the orange just where it's touching, just a tiny bit. Okay, so now the ice is back. You can see if you played around with this a little bit more and got a little bit more bumpy, you would get a little bit more refraction there, and this would look a little bit more realistic. Raise that away. All right, perfect. I also wanted to do one more render in 3D Studio Max without this rim light on there. We can actually erase everything on the inside except for that rim light. So over in 3D Studio Max, I'm just going to go over to our scene state. I'm going to bring our bottle back. And actually just going to turn off that light in the back. Or actually set it to white. I'm actually having a hard time moving around here. It's a little bit laggy. All right, we're just going to go in and change the color to white. We can even lower the intensity on this one. And under scene states, I'm going to save this and I'll call this rim correction. And we can render that. But also we want to make sure that render elements are turned off or it will render those out again. And we can render that. Okay, so now we're getting that rim light that I was looking for. Okay, we can save that. We can call this rim light. Okay, and the next lesson we'll go ahead and we'll finalize the composition and set up the background.